Good afternoon, Pedro. Hello, Pedro, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, good, I'm very good. How are you? I'm good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Um, let me just write in the chat. Okay. All right. Hello, Teresa. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. Muy bien. It's excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good. Teresa, can you hear me? Hola. Buenas tardes. Sí. Estaba cambiando el nombre. Oh, Parecía okay. siempre. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. How are you? Fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Excellent. Okay, good. Hello, Raul. How are you? Fine. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad you hear good. Um, okay, very good. Hey, quiero ver. Los extrañamos el día de ayer. Yo me dormí. Se durmió. <laughs> uh, ok. Sí, ayer salieron de turno, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Sí, sé que es pesadito el horario, pero les garantizo de que al final va a valer la pena. ¿Verdad? Todo ese esfuerzo que, que hagan Va, va a valer la pena. Les prometo eso. Ya. Yeah. Eh, quiero ver. Qué okay, momentito, chicos. Ah, estamos, tenemos a otra persona que se agrega. Qué bueno que se están, que se están agregando poco a poco. Sí, a veces no, no es fácil, ¿verdad? Cuando... Ok. Hello, good. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, Guillermo. Hola, here's new. Hello, how are you? Fine. Good, good, excellent. Yes. Eh, los, los habíamos, eh, bueno, los habíamos extrañado. El... Sí, realmente el día de ayer eh, venimos, bueno, salimos en la mañana a las 7 de la mañana de, 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 de turno de noche, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y a las ocho teníamos una cita ahí con, con, con un doctor, entonces ya llegamos como a la, eso de las diez y media a casa y nos acostamos mm -hmm. pues, con alarma puesta para las tres de la tarde, pero realmente no la sentimos y ya despertamos bien tarde. Mm, ya entiendo, entiendo. Pero hemos estado reforzando en la, en la plataforma. Ok, qué bueno. Ok, excelente. Eh, solo quería recordarles... Uh, dos cositas. Uno, que si por X motivos ustedes no pueden eh, estar en clase o quieren ustedes reforzar la clase, eh, las, um, el, las clases están grabadas y están eh, subidas en, la, en playlists de, de, 
de, de YouTube. Ya saben, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pueden ustedes ver las clases, ¿verdad? Cuando eh, en el correo que se les mandó, el primer correo, ahí está uh -huh. el enlace. No sé si ustedes uh -huh. ya, ya vieron ese enlace del de, el playlist de, de YouTube. No sí, si ya, el... ya, le, ya le he echado un vistazo, solo que la clase de ayer sí, sinceramente no la he podido ver todavía. Ok, ok. Pero sí, en el transcurso de la tarde vamos a ponernos en, al día con eso. Perfecto, perfecto. Sí, solamente recordarle eso, ¿verdad? Para que, uh -huh. eh, o sea, recordar a toda la clase, ¿verdad? Que, que si ustedes tienen ahí a su disposición las clases para que las puedan, re, eh, eh, como que sirva como un refuerzo o... Si ustedes por qué motivos han faltado, entonces pueden eh, también uh, ver las clases, ¿verdad? Que, que, que han perdido para que no pierdan el material, ¿verdad? Ok. okay. Y, y lo otro es de que si um, eh, tenga, o sea, sean muy cuidadosos ahí con la asistencia, porque acuérdense que necesitan un 80% de asistencia para poder calificar para el próximo nivel. Entonces, eh, significa de que uh, como solo tenemos ocho clases, uh, como hace como máximo, 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 podrían faltar como dos clases, ¿verdad? De ahí ya, ya pasando las dos clases, ya, ya prácticamente estamos en territorio que ya... Eh, va a ser bien difícil para nosotros poder uh, pasar, ¿verdad? Entonces, tengamos cuidado ahí con, con eso de la, de, de la, de la asistencia. Uh -huh. Y tratemos de conectarnos siempre a la hora, ¿verdad? Para que estemos lo, los 120 minutos de la clase, ¿verdad? No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre eso, alguna inquietud. No, ah, por el momento no. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien más tenga alguna preguntita que quiera hacer? Yo tengo una pregunta. Ajá, sí, sí, Teresa. La próxima, nuestro próximo descanso es sábado y domingo. Porque salimos lunes, perdón, salimos viernes a descansar, en la noche, en la tarde. Entonces nuestro descanso va a ser sábado y domingo. Esos días... ¿Solo se tendría clase el sábado o qué otro día nos impartirían la clase? Vale, tenemos clase el día de hoy y luego tenemos clase, si más no recuerdo mal, eh, va a ser hasta el 24. Ok, entonces uh -huh. si es sábado y domingo solo tendríamos clase sábado. O sea, vamos a tener clase el 24 de junio, que es un sábado, y el 26 de junio, que es el lunes. Esas serían nuestras próximas clases. Sería el día que entramos de pelado. Ok. No sé exactamente qué día les toca ahí con, con su horario de trabajo, Ajá. pero... Bueno, pero... le pregunto, para, para irnos uh -huh. haciendo la idea, ¿verdad? De que vamos a tener clases un día que entramos de lado. Sí, sí, no, lo que van a tener que no, hacer. No han compartido, no han compartido calendario. Um, debería en, en el correo que se les mandó. El enlace está. Ajá, en, en el, el correo. Ah, okay. en el, en, y en el correo que se les mandó, ahí están las fechas de clase. Ok. Mm. Entonces, vamos a revisar. Si vamos a tener clase, eh, sería, este es, o sea, el día de hoy es la cuarta clase, ¿verdad? Y luego tenemos 24 y 26. Y los otros dos días no me recuerdo muy bien. El 3 y el 10. El 3 y el 10, ajá, ok. Gracias, gracias. Sí, entonces sería, eh, después sería hasta el próximo lunes y el siguiente lunes. Uh -huh. Ok, no sé si tienen, si tienen alguna pregunta sobre eso. No. Ok, perfecto. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, en este caso, chicos, vamos a 
Empezar. Vamos. Uh, let's take attendance. Okay. So, uh, Carlos Armando Durán. Carlos Armando. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Douglas Enrique Gen Genoves. Douglas Enrique. Present. Okay, very good. Welcome, Douglas. Thank you. Um, Eduardo Alexander Alvarado. Eduardo Alexander Alvarado. Okay. Uh, en Eric Fernando Enriquez. Eric Fernando Enriquez. Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Fabricio Leonardo Zavala. Gladys Marina Luna. Gladys Marina Luna. Guillermo Enrique Acosta. Present. Wonderful. José Eduardo Cruz. José Eduardo Cruz. Leila Arminda Valladares. Leila Arminda Valladares. Pedro Miguel Rodríguez. Gracias. Wonderful. Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Ra Raúl Alfredo Castaneda. Gracias. Wonderful. Uh, Sara Beatriz Valencia. Sara Beatriz Valencia. Susana Guadalupe Navas. Susana Guadalupe Navas. Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. Okay, wonderful. And Wilmer Andrés Melara. Wilmer. Andres Melara Franco. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much, guys, for um, for being on time. What we're going to do right now is we're going to start our class. Give me a moment. Please tell me if you can see. Uh, my power, my my screen. You see my screen? Yeah. Yes. 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 Perfect. Okay. All right. So, um, this is an uh, I'm um, sorry, a conversation that we did at the end of the la of last class. We're just going to review a little bit. This is a review using do and does. Okay, so let's uh, let's review a little bit about um, the use of do and does. Remember that we use do for questions. Sorry, do and does we use for questions and short answers. Uh, so we start use we start questions with do or does and we finish the the short answers with do or does so you say for example do you work answer yes i do so we continue using the same the same auxiliary okay um we use do for i you we and they we use does for he, 
she, and it, those three. And we never use do or does with affirmative sentences. It, we never use do or does with affirmative sentences. We only use do and does with questions and short answers. And we use do and does uh, with a verb in the base form. So we do not, the verb is not changed to an S or ES or ING or ED, nothing, nothing, no change at all, okay? And in the negative, we say don't for I, you, we, and they, and doesn't for he, she, and it, okay? All right, so let's, let's see if we understand and remember how to use do and does, okay? So let's start with the first one. Do you live in an apartment? No, I? No, I don't. No, I don't. Don't. No, I don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any questions? So <clears throat> okay, stop me if you don't understand something. Si no entiende algo, por favor, díganme, párenme, porque si no me dice nada, yo supongo que lo he entendido. Next. I are I live I live Yep. Okay, so here we don't use do or does because here it's affirmative sentences. So we just use the verb in, in agreeing with the subject. So I live in a house. Next. Now is a question. We start the question with? Does. Very good. <clears throat> does it have a yard? Answer. Sorry, does it sorry, does it have a yard? Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Very good. Yes, it does. We do not say yes, it have. No, 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 no. Why? Because short answer uses does. Short answers always use does or do, not have. Okay? Next. That sounds nice. Question? Do. Question? Do. 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 Do you live? live. Good. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? <clears throat> Okay. Next. No, I don't do. I don't. Okay, because don't. because it's negative, you're gonna say no, I don't because it's negative. If it was affirmative, if you said yes, I will be do, but here it's don't because it's negative. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far? Okay. I live. <clears throat> right. Life. I live. Live. Okay. I live uh -huh, with my family. Next is a question. Do. Do. Good. Do you? Have. Do you have, any, have. Do you have any brothers? Excellent. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Answer. Yes, I. Yes, I 
You. Yes, I. Do. Do uh, remember answer short answer. There's only four possibilities. Do, does, as, don't, as, as. or doesn't. So in this case, it's I do. Yes, I do. Next. Mm -hmm. I have. I have. Good. I have four have. sisters. Have I have four people. sisters. That's a big family. Now, do. question. Do. 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 Very good, because it's, a, it's you, right? Do you. Do you have? Do you have? Very good. Do you have a big house? Do you have a big house? Yes, we do. Do. Yes, we do. Excellent. It has. Has excellent. It has because third person singular, right? So it has not it have. It has. <clears throat> it has ten rooms. Ten rooms. That's the question. So you say does, does. good because the subject is it does right? Does it have has. Oh. Does have, it has have. or does it have? What have, else? Has, has. Have. Which one? Have or has? has. How? <laughs> okay. Has. So this, but this, this, um, this uh, auxiliary is already a green with the. Okay, so this auxiliary here already agrees with the subject. So we don't need, to, it's not necessary to make another agreement. It's not necessary. So we just say, does it? Has. Have. Oh. Does it have? Oh. Many bedrooms. Do you understand why? Yes. Do you understand why or no? Me pueden decir, si no lo entiendes, también, you can tell me. Eh, yes. es, que, es que yo más o menos eh, había entendido que cuando lleva el it, it, t, se va a usar el as, h, a, s. Correct. You are right, Guillermo. It, with it, you use has. With it, he, and she. But, <laughs> but, Guillermo. Uh -huh. The auxiliary here is does. The auxiliary is already a green with it. O sea, el okay. does ya está conjugado con el it. Con el it. Uh, ya no necesitamos conjugar el otro. Porque no vamos a okay. conjugar dos, solo uno. Chévere. Okay? Does that make sense? Is that okay? Sí, comprendo. Okay, perfect. So, does it have many bedrooms? Yes, it has. Has. Come on. Remember, in yes. short, short answers, only four possibilities. Does. Do, don't, does. Do, do, sorry, does or doesn't. Does. 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 Yes, it does. does. Very good. Okay. So, short answers, never use has and short answers. Yes, it has. No, no existe. Bueno. Bueno, sí existe, pero ahorita no vamos, no, no estamos ahí todavía. Para, no estamos viendo esa lección. Y ahorita estamos viendo la lección so, que solo usamos el do, <coughs> does, don't, doesn't. Okay? All right, next. Eh, it... Has. has it has hoy sí hoy sí, hoy sí has. it has four por qué por qué hoy sí porque está dentro de la oración el it 
No, no exactamente. Es porque la oración es afirmativa. Mm. No es una pregunta. Con preguntas vamos a usar el dad. Pero en afirmativo no. Ok. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok, good. Good, good, good. Ok, next. Next question. Literally a question. Uh-huh. What's next? Hey. Do. 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 Very good. Do you? Have. Uh. Have. Uh, good. Do you have your own bedroom? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I? Do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good. Okay. Questions? Any questions? No. 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 No? Okay. All right. Perfect. So now let's answer these questions. Does Chris live in an apartment? Does Chris live in an apartment? What no, is the answer? Doesn't. Very good. The answer is... He lives in your house. Yeah. The answer is no, he doesn't. He lives in a house. Okay. Next question. Does Chris... Does Chris's house have a yard? This is Chris's house have a yard. Look at the conversation. Look at the conversation. Does Chris's yard, sorry, does Chris's house no, have a doesn't. yard? No, he doesn't. A, the house. Does Chris's house have a yard? What is the question? Can you can you can you tell me what the question is? What is the question? Does Chris's house have a yard? And tell me the question in Spanish. La casa de Chris tiene un jardín. Okay. Tiene un um, una yarda no es, no es exactamente un jardín porque un jardín es un garden okay, pero, cool. ajá, so, tiene una yarda la casa de Chris so what's the answer look at the conversation yes it does yes it does it does, it does. very good yes it does. Yes, it does. Okay. Yeah, do we understand? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. Does Chris live alone? Does Chris live alone? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Good. No, he... No, he doesn't. And what is the answer? If he doesn't live alone, who does he live with? He? He lives with family. Lives? With his family. Very good. He lives with his family. He lives with his family. Good. Okay. Does he have four brothers? Does he have four brothers? Yes, he does. He does. Yes, he does. Are you sure? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Right. Okay, so the answer. 
Okay. No, he doesn't. And what's the correct answer? He? He has. He has, has four sisters. Has four four sisters. sisters. Not brothers, sisters. He has four sisters. Okay. Vale? Yeah? Is it okay? Yeah, do. Okay. <clears throat> Last question. Does he have his own room? Yes. 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 He do. He do? That's 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 he does. Yes, he does. Very good. There you go. Any questions? No. Good. No. Okay. So it's clear for you, right? No problems. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. So any questions? Any any questions that you want to ask? Una pregunta que queramos hacer? No, vamos. No? Oh, no. Ok, very good. Um, veo que se nos ha unido Fabricio. Hello, Fabricio, welcome. Me escucha, Fabricio. Hello. Hello, hello, Fabricio. How are you? I'm um, fine. Yeah? Okay. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Um, but he estaba notando que en su, en su, um, ¿cómo se llama? En la plataforma solamente aparece como Fabricio Guido. ¿Será posible que pueda cambiar su nombre para que le parezca el nombre completo? Eh, eh, creo que sí. Ya, ¿Ya sabe cómo hacerlo? Sí, sí. Perfecto. Ok, gracias, gracias. Ok. All right. So, any questions about using do or does or do, uh, doesn't or don't for negatives? Questions? No? No questions? <clears throat> No question. No? Okay. All right. Perfect. In that case, um, we're going to continue. And uh, we're going to be looking at uh, furniture. So I want... I want you to tell me, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so this is uh, furniture that we can see, we can find. Oops, oops, oops. Wait, ¿qué pasó? Perdón, chicos, no sé qué pasó acá. Perdón, chicos, se convulsionó. Okay, let's, sorry, guys, let's try this again. Okay, I see. Okay, sí, um, okay so, um, oh, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to be looking at this vocabulary. And I want you to listen to the words and practice saying, repeating, okay? All right, so we're going to start. 
Armchairs. Armchairs. Repeat. Armchairs. 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 Okay, good. Stove. A stove. Notice you don't say a stove. It's not a stove. It's stove. 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 Okay. Stove. Va, vamos a hacer una cosita. Ven ustedes de que esta palabra es una palabra que empieza con la letra S y la T. Dos consonantes juntos. En español eso realmente no sucede, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando tenemos una S, normalmente ponemos una E al principio. Por ejemplo, España, estación, eh, es, esperanza, etcétera, etcétera. Pero en inglés no. En inglés ponemos la S y la T junta, o la S y cualquier otra consonante. Entonces, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Se pronuncia empezando con la, el sonido de la S. No le agregamos, no le no decimos S, no. Decimos Piénsenlo de esta manera. ¿Qué sonido hace una, una culebrita? ¿Cuál es el sonido que hace una culebrita? Mm, alguien sabe, pero creo que los demás no saben porque no los oigo. Ajá. ¿Cómo le hacen las culebritas? Vaya, enséñeme pues. Oigo una persona que sabe, pero los demás no estoy segura. Ajá, ok, muy bien, muy bien, excelente. Oh. Excelente. Oh. Es importante que sepamos hacerlo y que lo hagamos, porque ese es el sonido que vamos a hacer. Vamos a pre pretender que somos culebritas. Y las culebritas le hacen... ¿Verdad que nunca he escuchado una culebrita que le haga... Es, es, es. ¿Verdad que no? No, ¿verdad? Sería bastante raro, ¿verdad? Es que escuchar una culebrita que le haga es. Entonces, no, vamos a, vamos a hacer de caso que somos culebritas y vamos a hacer el sonido de una culebra. Vamos a hacer s. Y de ahí vamos a proceder a hacer la palabra. Stove. 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 Quiero escucharlos a todos porque es, escucho como a tres de ustedes, pero no a todos. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's continue now. Curtains. Oops, sorry. Curtains. 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 Okay, good. Pictures. 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 Clock. 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 Bed. 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 Table. 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 No, Notice it's table, not table. It's table. Table. Mm -hmm. Table. Table. Microwave. 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 Mm -hmm. Refrigerator. 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 Yeah, there you go. 
So it's not gator, it's jader. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Uh -huh. Good. Lamps. 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 Desks. Oh, sorry, desks. 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 Television. 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 Rug. Rug. This is a rug. Small, it's rug. like a small carpet rug. Sofa. 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 So it's not sofa. It's sofa. The sofa. stress is on the sofa. first syllable. Sofa. 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 Get it. Mirror. 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 Chairs. 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 Dresser. 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 Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Bookcase. 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 Okay, very good, bravo. Any questions about the vocabulary or the pronunciation? No. No questions? No question. No? No. Okay. Very, very good. Okay, so now that we, we have that, I want you to, um, we're going to categorize the vocabulary. We're going to categorize the furniture depending on the room where they belong. Okay, so tell me if you can see the screen again. Can you see the screen? Yes. 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 Okay, so we are going to be um, categorizing the vocabulary here into the four rooms of the house. We have the kitchen, should not be confused with chicken. Okay, what is kitchen? In Spanish, what is kitchen? Cocina. Cocina. Cocina, good. What is dining room? Dining room. Comedor. Comedor. Good. Living room? Sala. 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 Bedroom? Dormitorio. Good. Cuarto. Okay. So now we're going to categorize this. Um, we're going to be categorizing. We're going to be categorizing this. Um, this furniture into the different rooms. Now you can repeat furniture. For example, in a kitchen, we can have a table, but also in the dining room, we can have a table. So it can be more than, than one place. The furniture can be in more than one place. Okay? Do you understand? Is this clear? Yes. Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. So I'm going to be sending you um this um uh, this uh picture through WhatsApp. Please tell me if you receive it. Okay, do you have it? Yes, you have you have the picture? Yes, no? No. Bien, okay. bien, bien. 
Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to uh, put you into breakout rooms so you can work with a partner and categorize the words. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you understand what to do? Yes, we understand what mm -hmm. to do. Hello? Do you understand no. what to do? Um, vamos a hacer como grupo, de ejemplo, el grupo de la cocina, de la sala. Okay. Del... You, you are categorizing, categorizing the vocabulary, the furniture. So in the kitchen, for example, we have a we can have a table. In the living room, we can have a TV, a television. It, what what furniture is in every room of the house? Okay. Yes. Do you yes. understand yes. the the activity? Yes. yes. Any questions? No questions. Ahorita pregunten porque después entran los grupos y dicen y qué tenemos que hacer. En serio, es que así pasa. Ya, no escucho. Sí, es que es que es, es, le digo. Bueno, no, yo, lo, yo lo que he comprendido es que, que vamos a como contarle a los compañeros qué es lo que tengo en mi hogar, en mi casa. No. No, no that, that's a good, that's a good activity, but, but no, right now we're categorizing. Do you understand categorizing? Do you understand that word, categorizing? Categorizing, yes. We are categorizing the furniture. Okay, so categorize the furniture. Okay, so what exists? What is in a kitchen? In in general. What, what, what furniture can you find in the kitchen? What furniture can you find in the living room? What furniture can you find in the dining room? What furniture can you find in the bedroom? Okay. Yes. Okay. Veo esas caritas de que no sé qué es lo que tengo que hacer, pero no me preguntan. Spanish, please. <laughs> okay. Categorize. Do you understand the word categorize? Categorizar. Uh -huh. Categorizar. Good. The furniture. What is the furniture? Muebles. Los muebles. Very good. So we are categorizing the furniture. For example, in the living room. What exists in the living room? Right, tell me, what exists in the living room? Television. Television. Chairs. One Chairs. One more. Yes. Sofa. 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 Bye. Ya lo están haciendo. That, that's the only thing you have to do. Okay. Okay? Yeah? yeah. Then do the same for bedroom, for the kitchen, for the dining room, too. Okay. Okay. Hey. Hey. Yes. Hey. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. All right. Okay. So let's open the rooms now. Pedro? Pedro Stein?
Pedro, ¿está usted ahí? de la sala que le pueden poner más cosas eh, ¿cuál? ¿cuál? lo menos para el de eh, para el, de para el de la sala es el, eh, eh, es el que se le puede poner más cosas a la sala ah, de... lo menos el sofá sofá el, sofá. el room al, la alfombra creo que el clock the clock the lamp the coffee table ah coffee table coffee table the table oh. yeah. las pictures creo que pueden ir ahí también las fotos o cuadros. Ah, sí, picture. Este, Yo creo que ahora es lo más, lo más común. El sofá, ¿cómo se llamaba? Así, sofá. Sí, solo sofá, algo así. Sofá. Ah, uh, Arm Charms, se llamaba. Arm Charms. Arm Charms, algo así. A ver, quiero ver, lo puedo escribir aquí. Arm Charms, ese es como, no sé, como una silla, eh. Sí, el mensaje lista. I'm I'm Solo se puede ir en la sala ahorita. Ventilador, ¿cómo se dice? Ven. Ven. Solo que el ventilador no está ahí. Only, no. the, only from the, voc the vocabulary that I sent you. Only that. Okay, do you understand? Uh, only the vocabulary. Yes, o sea, solo de lo que hemos... Solo, ya ah, la imagen, ¿verdad? Ya. Solo lo que está de la no. foto. Ya vieron la, la foto, ¿verdad? Yo sí, ya la tengo. No. Ok, la, la imagen yo no, que yo no la mandado. tengo. No está en el yo grupo no de la... WhatsApp. Eh, no. Tiene que, tiene que agregarse ahorita mismo al, al grupo de WhatsApp, porque si no se está perdiendo toda la información. ¿Puede usted ir, entrar a su correo electrónico? Fabricio, ¿puede entrar al correo electrónico? Sí, ahorita estoy entrando. Ok. Bye. Busque ahí el correo que les, man, que les mandaron de inglés corporativo donde le, le daban todos los enlaces ¿sí? sí, este acceso al curso de materias ahora es okay, materiales ahí, no, no, ahí tiene que decir el enlace para el grupo de whatsapp Busque ahorita el enlace. ¿No le aparece? Eh, solo el de... Per, permítanme.
Sí, 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 ya lo encontré. Ok, va, entonces, eh, ahí um, una es el grupo y voy a volver a mandar la imagen. Ok. Ya, ya se agregó al grupo porque quiero asegurarme que se ha agregado al grupo para poder, poder mandarlo otra vez. ¿Ya se agregó? Eh, sí, mandé ahí un puntito, no sé si. No, no le un parece. Puntito. Ah, pero es que dice turno B, no sé si lo alcanza a ver ahí. Fabricio, una pregunta, Espere un momentito. Déjeme un momentito. Fabricio, eh, es la primera clase que, que tiene ahorita con los... Sí, sí, es nunca la primera. Se, nunca se ha conectado. No, es la primera. ¿Y qué le pasó con la, en las otras clases? Eh, sí, me dice que había perdido la, la fecha que era y sí me llamaron y, para que me metiera a esta clase. Ajá. Ajá. Ok. Vaya. Por eso hasta ahora. Y le explicaron de que necesita um, siempre conectarse hasta el final de la clase, del, del curso, ¿verdad? Ya no puede faltar. ¿Le explicaron eso, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Sí, me, sí, ella me explicó cuando hicieron okay. la llamada. Ok, perfecto. Vaya. Um, ese no es el grupo correcto, porque él debería... Bueno. De... El, el C. Porque, porque ahora pues, a mí me pasó de, de lo mismo, que me mandaron pues, al grupo B al comienzo, pero yo mandé un mensaje para que me dieran el grupo correcto. Porque a mí me mandaron para pues, el mismo grupo que pues, de, pues, de que enseñó él. Uh -huh. Ok. Déjenme ver. Un momentito para... Pero usted sí está en, el, está en el grupo, ¿verdad? En el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Yo? ¿Sí? Yo sí, yo sí. Ok. Va. Ahorita le voy a mandar el... Por este, por aquí. Por, por ese chat acá. Le voy a mandar el enlace. Ahora, no sé cómo hacer ahí para... Este, lo voy a copiar y me lo voy a mandar por Facebook para abrirlo en el teléfono. Ok. Ok. Sí, porque necesito estar en el grupo porque ahí se manda todo. Siempre que hacemos algún ejercicio, lo mando por ahí. Entonces, si no está en el grupo... No va a tener acceso a eso. Ok. 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 All right. Uh, we'll continue, guys, and I'm going to go to the other groups. Hello. Hello, Pedro. Hello, Pedro. Hello, Pedro. Eh, ¿Qué pasó? Ah, uh, ahorita estábamos ahí con Tera, Armando. 
Okay. No. ¿Y, ¿Y dónde se Pero fue Teresa? Nada. Porque ni la veo, ni la escucho, ni nada. Ah, uh, no sé. La verdad que no sé, pero... ¿Pero estaban trabajando juntos? Sí, correcto. ¿Y des... Estaban trabajando, ¿no? De repente se desconectó. Ah, sí. No sé si... ¿Y no le dijo Amaba nada? ¿No? Aquí estoy, andaba bebiendo agua. Aquí estoy. Ok. <risa> ok, ok. ¿Are you guys finished? Yes, sí, ya finished. You, you finished all of it? You categorized the furniture? Yes? Finished? Everything? Yes, yes okay. finished. Everything. Perfect. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go and see the other group and then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, um, are you guys finished? Finish. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. Yes. All right, I'll see you in the main room. Okay. All right, class. So we're going to be checking the answers. Um, okay, please tell me if you can see my, my screen. Yes. Yes, yes. Everybody. Perfect. Okay. Good. All right. So let's talk about the kitchen. What furniture can you see in the kitchen? So we have a table, a stove. What else? What else can you Microwave see in the kitchen? Microwave oven. Good. Microwave. Oven. What else? Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Mm -hmm. What else? Curtains. Curtains. Very good. Curtains. What else? Chairs. Chairs. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Clock. Clock. Okay, sure. You can have a clock. Excellent. Okay, so those are some of the vocabulary of things that you can find in a kitchen. Okay, let's now go on to the next one the dining room. What can be found in the dining room? We can find a table. What else? Okay. Chairs, yes. Chairs. Mm -hmm. What else? Table. Table. Uh, yes. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, you're right. It's already there. Mm -hmm. Curtains. Curtains. Curtains, yeah, could be curtains. What else? Clock. Clock. Mm -hmm. Pictures? Television. Picture. Picture. Mm -hmm. Pictures. Picture. Television. In the dining room? Really? Maybe. Mm, I don't know. It's also strange to have a television in the dining room because dining room is for eating. 
I don't know if you could have it there. Anything else? Yeah. Maybe a mirror? Here? No? No. No? No. A rug? Can we have a rug? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Okay. It depends on the house, right? Because it, it, yeah, some some cultures always have rugs in the in in the dining room. Anything else? No more. No more. No more. Okay. Yeah. All right. Huh? Desk in the dining room. No, no. Yeah. In the room. Yeah. No. In the dining. We're looking at the dining room right now. Um, That's it. Okay. All right. Living room. Let's talk about the living room. What could be in the living room? I'm sure. Armchair. Armchairs. What else? Pictures. Pictures. What else? Clock. Clock. Sofa. Sofa. Rug. 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 Television. 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 What else? Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Desk. 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 Case. Huh? Case. Chairs, did you say? Bookcase. Oh, bookcase. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Lamps. Lamps? Yeah, it could be. Although it's not theirs. But yes. Because plants is not a furniture, really. Anything else? Oh, did you say lamps? Lamps. Oh, okay. I, okay, yeah, lamps. Yes, very good. Anything else? Pictures? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we already have pictures. Curtains. Curtains? Yeah, definitely. Curtains? Anything more? Okay. No more. Perfect. Okay. Now let's talk about a bedroom. What can go in the bedroom? Bed. bed. Definitely a bed, yeah. What else? Lamp. Lamp. Lamps. Dresser. 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 Mm -hmm. Curtain. Curtain. Mirror. Curtains. Mirror. 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 Anything else? Mirror. Mirror, yeah, we have mirror. Can we have a bookcase? In the bedroom, can we have a bookcase? Bookcase. Yeah. Yeah, we could have a bookcase. Yeah. Dressing. Huh? Dressing. Dresser, yeah, we already have the dresser there. Television. Television, yeah. Definitely. Anything else? Clock. Hmm? Clock. Clock. Picture. Yes, pictures. Um, 
Anything else? Proof. Rock. Hmm? Rock. Sorry? Rock. 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 Oh, rug. Rock. Rug. Yeah, Rock. sure. Oh, no. Anything else? I would also Thank say you. maybe armchairs. You put like an armchair in the bedroom. Okay, very good. Excellent. Any questions? No question. No question. <laughs> it's all clear? Yes. Okay, very good. All right. Um, so we're going to now talk about how we can describe what exists. Okay, let's talk about how we can describe what exists. Please tell me if you can see my my screen. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so when we describe what exists in a place, if it's singular, we can use there is. Or the contracted form, there's. Okay, so there's is a contracted form of there is. And this is used for the singular. So there, there's is for singular. Okay, this is when we are describing what exists. So this is singular. Okay. And in the negative, we use there isn't. There isn't. Yeah, there isn't. Okay. Any questions about that? Do you have any questions? No. No? Okay. Now, if we are dealing with the plural, then we're going to be using there are. Okay. So you said there are or there are. And if it's negative, then we're gonna say there aren't, okay? So remember this right here is for the affirmative, okay? This one too, <clears throat> for the affirmative. And this one is for the negative. Okay, do we understand? So we're gonna use for singular, there's which is a contracted form of there is, or negative, there isn't. And for the plural, we're gonna say there are, when it's affirmative, and when it's negative, there aren't. Pretty simple, right? Yes? Simple questions? Do you have any questions? Pregunta, chicos. Pregunten todo lo que quieran.
No, it's all clear. Ok, all right. Como no hacen preguntas, entonces supongo que todo está claro. Right? Ok. So, when, when something exists and it's, and it's affirmative and singular, sorry when, so, sorry, when something exists and it's singular, we're going to be using there, there there's a. There. Because a means one. It means that there is one. Okay. Um, right. Now, when, yeah, so, sorry, 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 my mistake, my mistake, perdón chicos, this is my mistake, it's not a neg, this is not affirmative, this is negative. Same thing with this. This is a negative. It's America. Yeah. <clears throat> Why? Because here we're going to be using the word no. So even though you use theirs, the no makes it negative. Okay. And here we're also using a. There isn't a because a means one. Okay. Now here in the plural, we're going to be using plural, we're going to use some. There are some. And if it's negative, you can say there are no or there aren't any. Okay. So this is like when you say in Spanish, no hay eh, sillas. Here, this would be there aren't any, no hay ninguna silla. Does that make sense? Yes, does that make sense? Tiene sentido, chicos? Sí. sí. Yes. yes, okay. After that, we're just going to be saying the noun. So bed, sofa, table. And then here we have chairs in plural, chairs in plural, chairs in plural. So always, always make sure that if it's a plural form, we're going to be using the noun in the plural form. So if you say there are, we're going to be using the, ver the, the noun in the plural form. And then obviously we're going to be using the, the verb, sorry, the, the complement. In the bedroom, in the bedroom, in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the living room, in the living room. Okay, any questions about that? No. No? No, it's all clear? Okay, very good. All right, so what we're gonna do, <clears throat> um, actually, I'm going to copy this before, before we move on. Let me copy this and send it to you guys through the WhatsApp. Okay, I'm sending you through the WhatsApp. I'm sending you the, the the image. Tell me if you receive it. Okay. 
Did you receive it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to um gonna do an exercise. A, talking about there is and there are. Okay, um, I'm sending you right now again the Okay. Do you have it there? Yes. You didn't see it? Yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask you to do is um okay, so you can see here where it says we have the sentence, I don't have a table in the bedroom. So the, uh, the we're going to use be using there is and there are, or and there is no, there are no. So you're going to say, there's no table in the bedroom. This means the same thing as I don't have a table in the bedroom. So you're going to complete using the correct form. Okay. So I'm going to put you guys into breakout rooms. Okay. Um, okay, here we go. We're gonna we're opening uh, the rooms right now. Let me give you about five minutes. Pedro? Pedro? I uh, I had some chair in the kitchen. Escucha. Yes. I am. I have some chair. Yo tengo una silla en la cocina. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. They are they are some chairs in the kitchen. There are some. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Uh -huh. I had I have a stuff in the kitchen. There's a, there's, there's a there's a stop in the kitchen. Yes. But listen, I had I don't have refrigerator. Yeah. There are no there.
I don't have curtains in the window. Curtains in the window. There, there are, there are, there are, there are, there are, I don't have, I don't have curtain on the window. There are no. I don't, I don't have any row in the floor. I don't have. There are no crowds. Okay. Sorry. Pregunta tú. I don't have a table in the bedroom. There's no table in the bedroom. I have some chairs in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. I have, I have, I have a stone in the kitchen. There are a stove in the kitchen. Yeah, I don't have. Porque si no, no me voy a acordar. Quiero ver, bueno, vamos al cuarto. Bo. Cuarto, sí. Va, el cuarto sería, I know, I do have a reflection. Como que no, ah, yo no tengo, yo no tengo un, un refrigerador. Refrigerador. Uh -huh. Ajá, cabal. Sería. Entonces sería. There bueno, is yo... not, no. o oh, there isn't. There isn't, there sí, isn't. cabal. They are, they, they are, no. They are, no. Uh -huh. eh, there is, there isn't, sería como es. Singular. Ajá, cabal. There is. There is Vale, vamos al quinto. El quinto. I don't have curtain in the window. Que no tiene una cortina en, en, la, en la ventana. Va, um... No tengo cortinas. Está en plural. Está en plural. Cortinas. Entonces ahí sí tendría que ir hay que ponerle there is not ajá uh -huh. there is no refrigerator sin el ajá ajá lo mismo en la 5 there is it's not there's not on the windows y la última. Ahí sí creo que vamos a utilizar la palabra N. Ajá, porque ahí la tiene. Uh -huh. Y dice, I don't know how any. Entonces sería, there's not any frogs on the floor. Ajá. Quedaría there is not Entonces, any. Sería, Así quedaría. Pero, no, pero está hablando de, de este 
está hablando eh, de varios como es Algunos. como en plural va ajá entonces bueno. sería there there aren't contractado va si no solo ajá. there are not pero ahí está contractado ajá Penny, pero pero de igual manera there aren't entonces sería there are not any no o sea there are not pero contractado el are not sería are o sea there are así como está en la imagen anterior en la última ah ya aquí sí vamos a ocupar el any ajá ajá there aren't any donde sí me quedó duda es en, en cuando es singular. Veo uh -huh. que cuando es positiva la, la oración, le pone una A, pero cuando es negativo no se lo pone. Uh -huh. Ajá, en la primera oración dice, there's a bed in the bedroom. Ocupa la A, pero en la segunda es negativo. There's not. Ahí no sí ya no pone. Uh -huh. Okay, class. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to check the answers. Okay, so the first one is I don't have a table in the bedroom. There's no table in the bedroom. Next. I have some chairs in the kitchen. There are. There are. Mm -hmm. There are what? In the kitchen. There are what? There are some. There are some. Very good. There are some chairs in the kitchen. I have a stove in the kitchen. There is a stove in the kitchen. Good. There's. There is or there's. Uh, there's a stove in the kitchen. Stove good. Kitchen. Next, I don't have a refrigerator. There is. There is some. There. Okay, we could say there are two forms that we can say this, okay? We can say either. There's no. There's no. There's no. Or. There isn't. There isn't, yeah. There isn't what? A refrigerator. Ah, very good. There isn't a. Yeah, there's no refrigerator or there isn't a refrigerator. There's that's the two forms. Next. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have curtains in the windows. There's no. Good. There's no. Or there is there are actually no there's no no that's correct correct there are there are no no or there aren't there aren't there aren't what or thing there aren't any. any yeah there aren't any okay you can say there are no or there aren't any 
Cualquiera de las dos son válidas. Yeah. Okay, so that you can you can use each, any one of those. Okay. 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 Next. There are no. Yeah. So I don't have any rugs on the floor. There are no. Good. So you um you said there. Are no, uh, no rugs. There are no rugs on the floor or there uh, aren't any, 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 any rugs on the floor. Okay, so those are the possibilities. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No question. No? No. Okay. Good. Now, I want you to tell me, uh, first of all, can you see my screen? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this is uh, Linda's apartment. As you can see, her apartment is small. She has a small apartment. What I want you to do is look at her apartment and say, what exists in the bedroom, what exists in the kitchen, what exists in the living room, and what doesn't exist in the bedroom, what doesn't exist in the kitchen, what doesn't exist in the living room. Okay? So, example, you can say, there's a mirror in the bedroom, but there aren't any pictures in the bedroom. So you can say what exists and what doesn't exist. Do we understand? Yes. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so I'm going to also um, share this picture to the, to the WhatsApp group um, so that you can have it and I want you to also, uh, work with your the same partner as before. So I'm going to give you about five minutes to work with the same partner and talk about what exists and what doesn't exist in, in Linda's apartment. Okay, here we go. Hi. Hi. Carlos, are you there? Carlos? Carlos Armando? Hi. Carlos Armando? No está. Okay, then just work the two of you. So Raúl and Pedro, you work together because apparently he's not there. All right. There is a chair in the kitchen. There is a so in the kitchen, there is. Voy a. Voy a escribir Tendría, eso. Tendríamos que decirlo de. 
lo hacemos como de forma ordenada, así como lo dio de, de, de hoy. There isn't, ajá, uh -huh. there isn't, a, ah, bueno, eso ya está después. There isn't a lamp in the bedroom, uh -huh. in the bedroom. Sí, ajá, uh -huh. está bien. There isn't, en el mensaje lo más. Ajá, uh -huh. Vaya, vaya, está ahí. Quiero ver, espérate, yo. It's a pinterest, but theory are pinterest. <coughs> Vaya. Es que son como dos formas de escribirlas diferentes, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, there is no. And there isn't. Ok. Vaya, entonces. Eh, entonces sería como Terry's a bed, bed, como cama, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. en, en the very bedroom. Bedroom. Como, ajá, tengo una cama en, en, en la habitación. Hey, hay una cama. Uh -huh. Lo voy a hacer con lápiz, no es que me equivoco. There is. There is a bed in the bedroom. Ajá. Hay una cama. En el dormitorio. Cabal. Eso sería ah, uno. Y, y, ajá, y, y la, la, la negativa sería la, la anterior que hicimos. But Va que sí. There, there isn't a lamp in the bedroom. Ajá. ajá Como de la lámpara. Ya... Ajá, la lámpara. Sería la. la... Are you finished? Are you finished, guys, or do you need more time? More time. More time? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. Vaya, ahora en la sala, en la living room. Uh -huh. Sería, eh, there is, there is a television. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the living room. But... Eh, ¿Qué ponemos? No hay sofá. Uh -huh. eh, sería. But there is. Como quien dice, yo no tengo un sofá en mi casa. Ah, pero there's an sofá. Creo que ya estaba porque ya está la... La, la del bedroom ya está. Uh -huh. Entonces, solo la de la cocina y el living room. Yo creo que solo una tenemos que hacer de cada uno. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Ya sé por qué no utilizaba la A cuando... Eh, depende de cómo contracten la oración. Depende de la contra, de la de lo que contraigo, de cómo Eso lo contraen. No pueden ir dos, dos, dos Ajá. vocales juntas. Dos vocales juntas. Okay. All right, guys, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, let's check the answers. Um, okay, so tell me. Um, tell me something about what exists in the bedroom. There is an addresser. Okay, there is an addresser. Very good. Anything else about the bedroom? There is a row. There is there's an a row. There, sorry? There is an a row. A what? A row. A rug. Okay. All right. Anything else? There's a television in the living living room. There's a television in their living room. Good. Anything else? There is an alarm in the bedroom. There's an alarm in the bedroom. Okay. There's are no sofa in the living room. There's no sofa in the living room. There is a bookcase in the living room. There's a bookcase in the living room. Okay. There are some there are some pictures in the living room. There are some pictures in the living room. There are no table in the kitchen. There are no tables in the kitchen. Okay. What what about what exists? Tell us about what exists. There is not a refrigerator in the kitchen. There's no refrigerator in the kitchen, okay. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Okay, there are some chairs in the kitchen, very good. There are television in the living room. There's a television in the there living room. Excellent, okay. You guys got it. There is a curtain in the kitchen. There's a curtain in the kitchen, okay. Anything else? There are no curtains in the windows. There are no curtains in the windows. Okay, beautiful. You guys got it. Bravo. Excellent. Okay. All right. We have a few minutes left till the end of the class. And with this, I want to talk about uh, professions and or jobs. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, let's take a look here. So we have the word cashier.
Okay. Do we understand what a cashier is? A head. Mm -hmm. Good. Then we have a cook or a chef. Yeah. Do, do you understand the difference between a cook and a chef? Yes. Yes? What is the yeah. difference between a cook and a chef? I don't the know. Difference. You have any idea what the difference between a cook and a chef are? I don't know. Any mm -hmm. idea? Sorry? No idea. No idea? Okay. So no. basically, a chef is somebody that has gone to, to study. They have studied cooking. So they're professional. Okay. So they went to study um, some time to um, learn how to cook. Yeah, that's a chef. Okay. Yes, okay. we understand? Okay. Yes. Good. And then we have a doctor. We know a doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then we have a flight attendant. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. We have judge. Boys. Boy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we lawyer. have a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And a musician. Music. Music. Mm -hmm. And a nurse. Enfermera. Right. Okay. Pilot. Piloto. Mm -hmm. Notice we say pilot and not pilot. It's not pilot, it's pilot. Mm -hmm. And we have Oficial. police officer. Oficial de policía. Mm -hmm. So a police officer can be a man or it can be a woman. Police officer. Then we have a receptionist. A salesperson. Uh -huh, very good. So salesperson can also be a woman or it can be a man. That's why you say salesperson and not salesman. Before it was like salesman, we would say that a lot. But salesperson could be a woman or a man. And then we have security guard. Mm -hmm. Notice you say guard and not ward. It's not ward, it's guard. G -g 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 guard. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, security. Yeah. Security guard. And then we have singer. Content. Yes. Very good. And waiter. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Yes, exactly. Very good. Yeah. It's a man that um helps that brings you the food. And then we have waitress. Mm -hmm. oh, very good so it's, yeah so it's the 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 woman right the woman that serves the food okay so what i want you to do now is listen and repeat the words with me cashier 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 cook cook cook, cook. 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 chef Doctor. 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 Flight attendant. Flight attendant. attendant. Judge. Yes. Judge. Judge. Lawyer. 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 Musician. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, nurse. 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 Okay. Pilot. 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 Police officer. Police officer. 
Police officer. Police Receptionist. Receptionist. Uh, salesperson. 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 Security guard. Singer. 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 Waiter. Waiter. Waitress. Waitress. Okay, very good. Any questions about the vocabulary? No. No? No. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing then. And uh, I'm going to take attendance. Um, please tell me, uh, please uh, open up your microphone so that I can take the attendance. Okay, so we have... Uh, Carlos Armando. Present. Thank you. Uh, Douglas Enrique. Present. Thank you. Eduardo Alexander Alvarado. Eduardo Alexander Alvarado. Eric Fernando Enriquez. Eric Fernando Enriquez. Uh, Fabrizio Leonardo Zavala. Present. Okay, thank you. Uh, Gladys Marina Luna. Gladys Marina Luna. Um, Guillermo Enrique Acosta. Present. Great, excellent. Um, Jose Eduardo Cruz. Jose Eduardo Cruz. Um, Leila Arminda Valladares. Leila Arminda Valladares. Uh, Pedro Miguel Rodríguez. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Rafael Antonio Marroquín. Um, Raúl Alfredo Castaneda. Present. Okay, very good. Sara Beatriz Valencia. Sara Beatriz Valencia. Sus Susana Guadalupe Navas. Susana Guadalupe Navas. Eh, Teresa de Jesús Pérez. Present. Ok, wonderful. Wilmer Andrés Melara. Wilmer Andrés Melara. Ok. Bueno, entonces, chicos, eh, eso sería todo ahí para la asistencia. Bye. Les recuerdo entonces de que necesitamos uh, estar trabajando en la plataforma. <coughs> ya deberían de haber hecho la unidad 1 y la 2 eh, y empezar ahí la 3. Um, entonces, asegúrense que de haber ya terminado la unidad 1 y 2. Y entonces uh, ya empezar ahí con la tres. Uh, ¿Tienen alguna pregunta que quieran hacer? ¿Algo que no hayan entendido? ¿No? Por favor escriban no. en el grupo si, tienen, si encuentran algún, um, algún ejercicio que no están entendiendo, que podemos ahí ayudarles. Por favor... Um, eh, no, no duele escribir el grupo o si quieren escribirme directamente también lo pueden hacer pero la idea es de que se les pueda ayudar entonces um, no, no sientan como que están 
Ellos son los que tienen que hacer la, todos los ejercicios de la plataforma, ustedes solitos. Si no, te, aquí estamos para ayudarles, pero necesitamos que ustedes nos digan, ¿verdad? En qué necesitan ayuda. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita que tengan antes que terminemos? Oh. No. No. Ok, entonces de aquí vamos a obtener nuevamente la clase hasta en dos semanas. O sea que nos vamos a ver hasta el 24, correcto, hasta el 24. Ok, entonces um, traten de avanzar, eh, ya que vamos prácticamente son dos semanas, traten de avanzar en cuanto ustedes puedan en la plataforma. Acuérdense que lo bueno de la plataforma es de que aunque usted se equivoque, y tenga un 0 o un 20 o lo que sea, una, una nota baja, no importa porque usted puede seguir intentando ese mismo ejercicio hasta conseguir un 100%. ¿Ok? ¿Una preguntita antes que terminemos? Ok. Bueno, en ese caso, eso sería todo, chicos. Eh, y nos estamos viendo en dos semanas. ¿Ok? Ok. So, See you in two weeks, guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.